Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to continue our study with building Boba Fett by looking at the shin tools. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. This channel, if you don't know, is dedicated to my love of Star Wars. I love the franchise, obviously, as seen by many a thing behind me. <laughs> Lately, I've been excited about building a Boba Fett costume because I want to be Boba Fett maybe in 2024, maybe. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Uh, the jetpack is last on the list. We'll see. We'll see if I get that done in time, but I don't know, maybe 2025. But uh, I said shin tools at the beginning of this. What is that? Uh, if you go back to your Star Wars visual dictionary, and turn to the Boba Fett section, <laughs> you can see that down here there's some tools that are listed. They were all given names. Uh, I remember a long while back we didn't, we didn't know what any of the props were. So there is the survival knife, the sonic beam weapon, the anti-security blades, and the jetpack adjustment tool. So those are the uh, devices that sit in his pockets down here on his shins, which is why we call them the shin tools. I'm gonna be the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. He doesn't have all the shin tools on him. I got these from Manowar. That's where I got my props from. Manowar was kind enough to send me all the props, including uh, two different sets of security blades, depending on if you're uh, Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. And uh, I went out and got a bunch of rattle cans that I thought I would need for not just these, but also the gun and maybe some weathering on the costume. Uh, I'll show you those. But I kind of stopped. I did not finish, all right? And it has nothing to do with Manowar at all. It has to do with me <laughs> and my ability to paint. So I'll show you how far I got. We'll put it that way. I'll show you how far I got and what I did to get where I did. But once I got to this point in the project, I reached out to um, Boba Maker, who's making my costume, or who's making the armor, at least, and asked if they could throw in a couple of um, the shin tools for me. So I'm only getting two tools from Boba Maker, and I'm going to keep the other two tools that I have here, but I just wasn't happy with my ability to paint. I don't know. You'll, you'll see. You be the judge. But uh, first, let me show you the paint. All right, so those are the spray cans that I got, and I'm sure I'll get more as I move forward. I've kind of always used spray paint to, to do my weathering and, uh, for fabrics or, or guns. I just kind of like the way they feel, and I like the, I like the quickness of it, and uh, I like the way they dry, too, when, when they look. It looks more like uh, a worn universe than it does just like, you know, I don't like paint with a brush. It just feels too drippy and... And I don't like dyes. I feel like dyes, uh, it, if you're not careful, it, it bleeds too fast and it gets everywhere. So I feel like I have more control over a rattle can. So that's what I've always used. Let me show you my step-by-step -step process to take the props from where I got them from Man of War to uh, where you'll see them right now. All right, so if you saw my uh, unboxing, you saw my tools from Man of War Studios. They look like this. I would suggest you wash them down with soap and scratch them with some sandpaper, light, fine sandpaper first before you do this. So first, black primer. Got them all a nice flat black shade to prepare them to do silver. So I went over the entire thing again in silver for all the pieces and then started to do each piece one at a time. So first the blade, did that in the yellow I bought and then started to uh, spray on some flecks of black to get in some weathering in there. Not a lot of color on these parts. So this was just uh, taped off and then hit with black again. You can see some of the black flecking that I kind of sprayed at a distance to get that to look the way it does. Again, masking off certain colors. So I'm gonna hit this with red and then get in there with the red and make sure that it looks uh, what it was, what I wanted, and then take the tape back off, and then it looked like this. So the only thing I haven't done at this point 
is the black stripe that needs to go on the last tool. There you can see I got the tape wrapped around the other tool, and so I'm almost finished. And just to show them one at a time up close, this is the Jetpack adjustment tool. I had to glue this piece on, uh, hit everything with silver, then went back over again with black, kind of in flex, and then scratch it all up with some sandpaper. The survival knife has changed a little bit since the last picture. Uh, I got some more weathering in there, some more black, just to kind of distress it up. Uh, I did like the way this turned out, and I kind of went over the whole thing again with some clear coat just to kind of lock the colors in. This is my finished anti-security blade. This is as far as I got. Um, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why I stopped. One of the reasons I stopped is there's a gnarled edge that's supposed to be on the top of this that's supposed to have some texture, and it wasn't included in this mold. And I really felt I needed that. I also feel like they sit too low in my pocket, and I don't know if that's a fault with the mold itself or if I just need to raise it up, which I probably will. I'll probably just end up raising it up. Um, I was super appreciative to Iron Gladiator who supplied me with some gaff tape. I think it looks great. And so big props to everybody down at the Dented Helmet for helping me out. If you're not a member of the Dented Helmet, you should become a member of that, especially if you are building a Boba Fett costume. Overall, I like it. It's fine. It'll work in a pinch. Um, and I'm going to hold on to it for sure until I get my other props just to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, did that with some, you know, tape. I just masked that off, hit it with the red, and then scratched it all up to make it look weathered. But I wasn't happy with the top of the mold of this. I really wanted that kind of tech. It's amazing that you don't care about any of these details. You know, when you start, <laughs> you're like, I don't care. I don't care. And then you get it. And then you spend the money on it and then you go through the process of painting it and then you compare it against the original pictures and then you're like, all right, now I care. And this is the Sonic Beam Weapon. Uh, this was originally a squeegee of sorts for uh, printing. And you can see that I, you know, I painted this off so that it would have nice clean edges with tape. Even wrapped it around to the back side so that it continued the, the, the coloring. Scratched it all up. Hit this with clear coat too so that um, the paint wouldn't scratch off. But the reason why I stopped on this one is there's supposed to be a little black decal that goes across the top of this. I'm sure I could do it if I just sat down and took some time, but I got this far and I just became instantly lazy. <laughs> I got this far and I was like, I don't know if I can keep going. Um, it just, paint wise, it wasn't turning out the way I wanted to. I don't know, maybe I'll end up. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm going to hold on to these until I get the other props in from Boba Maker, and then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison to see if I, which ones I like better. Definitely, I'll keep the one that I like better. And, and it's not that I don't like this. It's fine. It is. It's fine. But I really, I don't know. You, you start caring about all the little details, and then suddenly, as I painted this, it just didn't feel the way I wanted to. So I wanted somebody professional uh, to make mine. But at least I had the experience. I had the experience of making it. <laughs> I think that, and I wanted that, I did. I wanted the experience of making it. I was looking forward to actually having something on my costume that I painted and, and did. And so perhaps those will be the ones I use. I don't know, they, may, they might be, they might be. So we'll see. But for right now, taking a little pause in that project and I'll pick it back up again later. I don't know, you tell me. You tell me what you think. You tell me how you think they look. Um, what else can I tell you? Still waiting for my gun from Imperial Gunnery. Has not arrived yet. And I have, I think, two or three more payments left on my armor to Boba Maker. And then um, come January slash February, I'll be expecting that. I hope he takes pictures of it during the build process. I can share those pictures with you. If he does, if he sends me pictures of the build process as he's building, I will share those with you so that you can see the whole process, and then we'll do a giant unboxing of all the armor. Looking forward to it. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.